Hello everyone. I'm Takafumi Okukubo, a graduate student at the University of Tsukuba, Japan. Today, I'm very happy to talk about our research on food traffic prediction for large scale events. First, I'll share the main point of my presentation. We are working on predicting the temporary congestion that occurs during large scale events. We call this congestion by people, food traffic. We present a framework to predict food traffic from a limited amount of training data. As shown in the figure on the right, our method predicts the rate of latent basis behavior patterns from event information. We propose a pattern aware probabilistic model for a neural regression. The model is formulated with a probability likelihood function suitable for the data. Then we evaluated the proposed method using foot traffic data observed in a real circus stadium. We showed that the proposed method outperformed the conventional direct methods. In this study, we focus on large scale events that attract a large number of people, such as professional sports games and singers' music concerts. Large scale events make many people excited and happy. However, after the event is over, huge congestion occurs because spectators try to go home at the same time. The fourth shows people returning home after a game of a Japanese professional soccer league. You can see from this fourth that there is huge congestion after the events. This congestion makes the spectators less satisfied with the event. The congestion also interferes to keep a physical distance during a pandemic of a virus, such as COVID-19. In the worst case scenario, a tragic accident such as a crowd accident may occur. In order to prevent this situation, it is necessary to know in advance when the congestion is more likely to occur. So it is important to predict the time series foot traffic after the event for pedestrian safety. Some existing studies propose traffic prediction methods for events. These prediction methods conduct time series prediction with large amount of training data, having additional information. The time series frameworks used in these studies are LSTM and ARIMA models, which are typical methods used for time series prediction. Additional data such as GPS, global positioning system, and social media posts are also used to represent the content and movement of people during the event. Because the large scale events are not free held frequency, it is difficult to prepare a large amount of traffic data enough to train the prediction methods. For example, a soccer stadium holds yearly a few major games that a large number of spectators visit. Small amount of data degrades the prediction performance of the existing method. A promising approach to handle the limited amount of training data is to assume a small set of behavior patterns of people. For example, of a soccer game, some people leave an event site early to go home immediately, while others stay longer to bask in the afterglow of the event. Non-negative matrix factorization, we call NMF, is the main method for decomposing into latent behavior patterns in an unsupervised manner. This method decomposes original matrix into two non-negative matrices a basis matrix and an activation matrix. The basis matrix consists of a small number of vectors. This method 
allow us to represent non-negative data with small number of vectors. NMF has been utilized for audio source separation and document recognition. This figure shows the overview of our proposed method. We predict a time series of foot traffic at an existing gate of a large scale event from event information, such as starting time, weather, and the number of spectators. We extract basis behavior patterns from the training data by NMF. Instead of predicting each time for all times, we predict the weight of the basis patterns by a neural network regression model. By setting a small number of the basis patterns, the proposed method can robustly predict from a small amount of training data. We formulate this method as a Bayesian generative model to prevent overfitting for the training data. Then I explain about the details of our, our proposed method. Firstly, we formulate the food traffic with a person likelihood. The person distribution is a probability distribution suitable for count data. Food traffic can never take a value other than a positive integer, so it can be represented by the Poisson distribution. Secondly, I explain W, the latent basis patterns of the training data. W is composed of the basis patterns that represent some kind of foot traffic. This keeps the number of parameters in this activation small. To prevent overfitting, we introduce a Bayesian manner for tra training W. We set a gamma distribution for the prior of W. The gamma distribution is a conjugate prior of the Poisson distribution. Then I explain the neural regression model used for the activation part. It predicts the rate of the latent basis patterns from the, from the event information instead of directly predicting the low time series. For the regression, we use a simple neural regression with three layers. This slide shows how to train the proposed method. The goal of this training it's to find neural network effects such that py par fx is maximized while estimating pw par y fx. The wall training procedure is formulated as a variational expectation maximization algorithm. In the E step, we update QW, a variational posterior distribution to maximize a lower bound of a log marginal likelihood. It is difficult to estimate a true posterior distribution of W analytically, so we introduce QW. On the other hand, in the M step, we update FX, the neural network, to maximize a log likelihood of the training foot traffic data. We use the Adam optimizer for updating FX. We update alternately with E step and M step. I explain about experiments to evaluate our proposed method. The proposed method was evaluated with real foot traffic data recorded in the Kashima Circus Stadium, Japan. As shown in this photo and movie, we recorded foot traffic of existing people at 15 real soccer games. These foot traffic data were observed before the pandemic of COVID-19. The event information includes first half win, kickoff time, spectator count, and half-time temperature. 
In this experiment, we predicted 120 minutes, starting 19 minutes after the start of the games. This is almost equal to 30 minutes before the end of the games. The proposed method was evaluated with two baselines. One was the direct regression method. It predicts a traffic time series directly from an event information vector. The other was NMF-based regression method, similar to the proposed method. Their basis vectors were updated by the maximum likelihood manner instead of our Bayesian manner. For both the methods, we evaluated the loss functions based on the Gaussian and Poisson likelihood functions. Here, I'll show you some examples of the prediction. You can see that the proposed Bayesian NMF-based regression, BNMF-based regression in red, stably predicted the foot traffic. In contrast, the direct regression methods in blue and green drastically failed to predict, predict the foot traffic. This table summarizes the prediction performance of the proposed method and two baseline methods. RMSEs and MAPEs are indicated that express the error between the observed data and results of the prediction. The smaller RMSEs and MAPEs are, the better the prediction performance is. Direct regression predicts a traffic time series directly from event information vectors. NMF-based regressions are similar to our BNMF-based regression, but their basis vectors were updated by the maximum likelihood function, uh, maximum likelihood manner. For baseline methods, we evaluated the loss function based on the Gaussian and Poisson likelihood function. The existing studies often formulate NMF with the Gaussian likelihood. From this table, you can see that our Bayesian NMF-based regression makes the best performance. Let's look at the details. Firstly, NMF-based regression improves the prediction performance in both RMSE and MAPE better than the direct regressions. These results show that the, the introduction of NMF was effective for traffic prediction from the small amount of training data. Secondly, the performance in the NMF-based regression was also improved by replacing the Gaussian likelihood with the Poisson likelihood. The existing studies often formulate NMF with the Gaussian likelihood. The Gaussian distribution can also take negative values. On the other hand, the Poisson distribution is suitable for count data, such as food traffic. These results show that formulation with the Poisson likelihood was effective for foot traffic prediction from the small amount of training data. In addition, our Bayesian NMF-based regulation further improved the prediction performance. This result shows that our proposal of the Bayesian inference was effective to prevent the model parameters from overfitting. In this study, we present a framework to efficiently predict foot traffic congestion from a small amount of training data. We formulated an NMF-based regression with a Poisson likelihood. The Poisson distribution is a natural representation of count data. We introduced a Bayesian manner to prevent model parameters from overfitting. The experimental results show that our method outperformed the conventional direct regression method and NMF-based regression method trained by maximum likelihood estimation with a Gaussian likelihood. 
our future work is to extend our method to an online adaptive framework to deal with unexpected situations. Thank you for your attention.